everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we are looking at the Goal Zero Nomad 5 solar panel here at eTrailer. This comes in two options. The first one is just the Nomad 5, the solar panel itself. The second option is the solar panel plus this power bank. So you have the Flip 12 power pack that works perfectly with the solar panel. This is a nice portable solar panel. It's a great option for those who like to hike or like to bike because of how easy it is just to clip onto your bag. That way you are charging while you're going. Let's take a closer look at the front of the solar panel. I really like how durable it is. You can feel its sturdiness and even if you're going out on trips and if you happen to trip, you won't have to worry about this breaking on you. This is a 5 watt monocrystalline solar panel and what that means is even though it is small, it is very efficient. There's monocrystalline and there's polycrystalline solar panels and the monocrystalline is a bit more effective because it takes more sun energy and turns that into power. I really like how they designed the case for the solar panel. You have that casing on top that allows sunlight to come through but on the edges you have it where they are ribbed or they come over that panel allowing it to be a bit more durable even if you drop it. Taking a look at the back now you see how our aluminum casing covers the entire back side. We also have this stand and it also works as a clip onto your bags. There are two different ways to use this solar panel. The first is to put it on the ground and have it face the sun. The other way is to attach it to your backpack. Let's take a look at those. So now we're gonna prop this up against our rock here and we'll take a look at how much of an angle you can get with this panel. So you can get a maximum angle of 180 degrees just to have it down flat or you can just set it to whichever angle you want for the best position to get the sun. So I have my phone charging cable right here. So I'm just gonna plug that into our solar panel and then plug the other end to my phone. That way I can have it out charging while I relax in the shade. The USB port in the back of your Nomad 5 is gonna have this flexible cable here that will allow different options for charging your equipment. The USB port on your solar panel is five volts with a max of 830 milliamps and a five watt maximum. Now let's talk about the Flip 12 power pack that comes with the option together. So this is a really nice power pack. It has 3,350 milliamps, which is enough to charge most of your smartphones and smaller devices for multiple charges. The Flip 12 power pack is a small but durable battery. You can see how it fits into my hand. I have small hands and it's still smaller than that. It has an aluminum casing keeping it durable. It has two USB ports, one for input, one for output, has a maximum of 2.1 amps and they're both five volt ports. You also have this small LED light up to show how much charge you have left on it. I recommend getting the panel that comes with this Flip 12 just because of how easy it is to connect it and have it charging as you are walking around. Now if there is a larger power bank that I highly recommend pairing with this solar panel system, it would be the Goal Zero Sherpa 100PD. That's because it has a much greater power capacity. It can charge most smartphones up to eight times on a single charge. So you could just plug that into your solar panel like that and let that charge. Another of its features is it also has wireless charging. So if you have a phone that has that feature, it will work well with that. Now I'll show you how to put it on your backpack. First, you're gonna unzip just a little bit just so you have enough space for your solar panel and then pop that in and clip it together. From there, you can then charge your phone while you go. You can plug that into your phone and have it charging. And that's it, you're ready to go on an adventure. Now, some things to know about this solar panel is that there are clips in the back for your stand to clip onto. This is ideal for thinner fabrics. So if you do have a bag which has a lot of padding or you have a pocket underneath this, I recommend getting another strap. You can also have a carabiner and have that clip into the sides of your solar panel just to keep it in place. 
So my final thoughts about this solar panel is I do like its portability. I like how it is a small solar panel that can charge up my phones and other smaller accessories. My favorite part about it is its clip, especially since I can attach this to my backpack, which I enjoy doing since I like to go hiking. And it's also nice that I don't have to worry about accidentally cracking it because even though it is thin, it's also very durable. All in all, it's a really good solar panel. If you are not getting the one with the power pack, I highly recommend using a larger power bank. Goal Zero has a bunch of options and you can find them here at eTrailer. And that was a look here at our Goal Zero Nomad 5 here at eTrailer.